What is up, everybody? Today is finally the day that football starts. Thursday night, Ravens versus Chiefs. If you are not a money line type of guy and you like to choose spreads, this video is for you. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. So with the first game we have, Ravens versus Chiefs, even though I do like the Chiefs to win this game outright, I will be taking the points Ravens plus three. I do not think that the Ravens will move away from their game plan at the of what happened in the playoffs. I think it's going to be a very run heavy type game, cutting the clock a little bit. So I expect to see a lot of Derrick Henry. And with a lot of Derrick Henry, it will help open up the pass game for Lamar Jackson. I do think it'll be a very close game. So I will be choosing the plus three. Next game we have is the Green Bay Packers versus the Eagles. If you saw my previous video of the money line, I have the Green Bay Packers winning outright. So in this video, I will be selecting the Packers plus two. I do think that the Packers do have a puncher's chance in this game. Um, the Packers have a deep wide receiver core, and I do think that they can have some chances against the Eagles defensive backs. So I am choosing the Packers plus two. Next game we have is the Patriots versus the New England Bengals. I will be selecting the Bengals eight and a half. I just don't think that the Patriots have enough firepower or enough offense to even keep up with the Bengals in this game. I do expect the Bengals to at least win the game by 10 points. So I will be picking the Bengals minus eight and a half. Next game, the Cardinals versus the Buffalo Bills. I think the Cardinals are going to win this game. I will be taking the juicy line and I will be taking that six and a half points. Even though that the Bills have a revamped wide receiver core, I just don't think I have much faith in the defense right now, especially with Matt Milano being out. I think we're going to see a lot of healthy Kyler Murray running on the ground, a lot of James Conner, and we may see Marvin Harrison Jr. get his first touchdown catch in this game. So I do expect the Cardinals to win this game outright. And I'm also taking the points, which right now it has them at six and a half. I think there's a great chance that the Cardinals could keep it close, if not win the game outright. Next game, the Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Miami Dolphins. I do think this will be a very close game. Um, I'm going to select the Jaguars plus three and a half. I don't think that the Dolphins are going to blow out the Jaguars. The Jaguars had some pretty good, had made some decent moves in the offseason they did obtain uh gabe davis to kind of help bolster up the wide receiver room a little bit but i do think that brian thomas jr the rookie is going to help stretch out the field and add uh more ammo for trevor lawrence as long as the offensive line keeps him upright so with brian thomas jr just stretching out the field and being a deep threat it'll help open up the passing game to allow kirk Ingram, Gabe Davis, and Travis Etienne to get involved. So I do think that the Jaguars do have a chance to keep this game close. So I'm choosing the Jaguars plus three and a half. Next game we have is the Houston Texans versus the Indianapolis Colts. The line is minus three. I am taking the Texans minus three. I think that I think the Texans can win this game by at minimum a touchdown. Um, even though that Anthony Richardson is playing and he's going to be on the field healthy, I just don't think that the Colts' pass defense have enough firepower on defense to stop this high octane offense that the Houston Texans have with CJ Stroud, Joe Mixon, Diggs, Dell and Collins and Schultz. So there's a lot of offensive heat on this team. And I think that CJ Stroud may have a field day on this pass defense. So give me the Houston Texans minus three. The Minnesota Vikings versus the New York Giants. I do have the Vikings win this game outright. The Vikings will win this game outright. And I will be taking the Vikings minus one and a half. Um, I do not think that um, the Vikings and the Giants game will be close that people may think it will be. Um, but I'm, I'm okay taking the minus one and a half. I think this could be a game that the Vikings could probably win by a field goal, four points maybe. But I'll take the Vikings minus one and a half. The Tennessee Titans and the Chicago Bears, right now the lines are three and a half. I'm going to be taking the Titans three and a half. I do think that the Bears could win this game outright, but I do like the changes that the Titans made in the offseason. New head coach, new offensive coordinator. They did give Levis some weapons in the offseason by obtaining Calvin Ridley and 
uh, Tyler Boyd. Um, it's up in the air of how Hopin Hopkins is going to be in week one. Um, but the Titans are going to be a very pass-heavy team, and I can see a backdoor cover occurring towards the end of the game where the Titans will make it close towards the end, even though it may not be closed throughout the game. But I can see a backdoor cover occurring with this pass-heavy offense. So I'll take the Titans three and a half. Next game we have is the Steelers versus the Falcons. I do think that this game could come down to a field goal, and right now the Lions are three and a half. I do think the Falcons could win this game outright, but give me the Pittsburgh Steelers at three and a half. Had the Lions been at three, may have taken the three with the Falcons, but if you're going to give me the hook, three and a half, I'll take the Pittsburgh Steelers three and a half. I think that we can see this game coming down to a field goal in which I'll like the Steelers to cover. Next, we have the Carolina Panthers and the New Orleans Saints. Right now, the line's at three and a half. I will be taking the Carolina Panthers at three and a half. Not only will I be taking the points with three and a half, I do think that the Panthers can win this game outright. They have a new head coach, Dan Canales. I think he will help Bryce Young in this game a lot better than how Bryce was last year. And I think that this pass defense will give Derek Carr trouble. I do see Derek Carr checking down the ball a lot, just based how how pretty good this pass defense for the Panthers is. But I just don't think that checking the down checking the ball down a lot is going to help you win this game. So I think that the Panthers can win this game. So give me the three and a half with the Carolina Panthers. Next, we have the Denver Broncos. And the Seattle Seahawks, right now the line is at six. I will take the Seahawks minus six. I think the Seahawks can win this game by at least a touchdown. Mike McDonald's first game as a head coach. I think he'll get this defense up to par, especially the run defense. And I think that uh, Geno Smith will be clicking his new offensive style. This will be a very tough game for Bo Nix in his first game. So I think the Seahawks can win this game by a touchdown. So give me the Seattle Seahawks minus six. Las Vegas Raiders and the Los Angeles Chargers. The Lions are at three. I do have the Raiders winning this game outright, so I will be taking the points with the Raiders. And if the Raiders do not win this game outright, I do expect this game to be pretty close, probably within a probably within a field goal. So give me the Las Vegas Raiders plus three. Dallas Cowboys and the Cleveland Browns. Right now, the Lions are at two and a half. Um, it was about three earlier in the season, uh, earlier in the week. I will be taking the Cleveland Browns minus two and a half. Um, I just don't trust the Cowboys on the road, especially as underdogs. Don't think they covered last year as road dogs. And I expect the same to happen in week one. The Browns have a very good pass defense and a very good defense when playing at home. I think they can give the Dallas Cowboys some trouble with their offense. And the Browns are pretty much one of the most run heavy teams in the league. And I do expect them to kind of keep the ball on the ground, run the clock out and keep the ball out of Dak's hands. I do and will be taking the Cleveland Browns minus two and a half. The Commanders and Tampa Bay Buccaneers, right now the lines are at three and a half. I will be taking the Buccaneers minus three and a half. This is a game where I could think that the Buccaneers can win this game by a touchdown. Jaden Daniels' first game, I think it might take him a couple weeks to get up to par. So I do think that the Buccaneers can win this game by a touchdown. So I'll be taking the Buccaneers minus three and a half. The Los Angeles Rams and the Detroit Lions, I do think this is a game that the Lions will win. But give me the Rams plus three and a half. I can see a backdoor cover occurring, especially with Matthew Stafford slinging the ball around. And this is a game where they can kind of try, pretty much keep it close close towards the end. Um, This is a game where the Lions are going to keep the ball on the ground, especially with the loss of Aaron Donald. I think there's a big hole on the defensive line, but the Rams keep it close with Matthew Stafford slinging the rock in his former house, three and a half backdoor cover towards the end of the game and last but not least the new york jets and the san francisco 49ers it is at four and a half right now i don't think this game will be a blowout i think this game could be a bit close but i don't think it will be close enough for the jets to cover so give me the 49ers at minus four and a half Thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content and give me your spread picks below in the comments below. Thank you so much and catch you guys next week.